In this video, I will show you how to communicate Delta HMI to Siemens PLC. S7-1200 PLC we are going to use. Okay, so for HMI, uh, Delta Ethernet HMI we are using. So in the PLC and HMI, we are using Ethernet cable for uh, communication purpose. Okay, so first of all, I will show you the uh, my setup. Okay, so let's see. You can see here this is a Siemens PLC, okay. Model number S71200. Okay, S71200. Then this is Delta HMI. Okay, this is basically Ethernet HMI. These are the RS232 ports and 485 port. This is for power, and here you can see Ethernet is connected. Okay. The model number of HMI is DOP one zero seven WV. Okay, so this Ethernet cable is connected to the Ethernet switch. One another one cable is connected to the PLC, and one cable is connected to the PC. Okay, this is laptop for programming. So I have TI portal and Delta HMI software already installed in laptop. This is SMPS. Okay. Used to power on to give the supply to PLC and HMI. Okay, this is overall setup. Now we will start the programming side. Okay, now let's start the programming part. So open DOP soft, uh, which is for Delta HMI. Okay, this software too is for development of Delta HMI. So this is new version of DOP soft. Because I am going to use the new version of Delta HMI that is 107 series. Okay, so just uh, go to File, Create New Project. So model number is 107 WV. Okay, so you can give a project name here. So just give the name Test Siemens. Next. So this is actually communication medium uh, we need to select here okay protocol so this uh, com1 com2 and com3 these are the for rs232 and 485 port so we are not using this so i will just deselect this connection we are connecting with plc with ethernet so i will just select the ethernet here you can see new network links just click on new network link now here we have to select the controller so we have Siemens S71200 PLC. So I will just type here yes. Yeah. In Siemens folder, you will have the Siemens PLCs here S7200, S7200 ISO TCP. So we are using S71200. Okay. So I am selecting S71200. Yeah. So this is PLC IP address. So my PLC IP address is 192.168.0.1. So if you have uh, different IP address, you just need to mention here your PLC IP address. Okay. Now click on finish. Yeah, this is first page, home page of HMI. So just take one uh, button here. Go to element button. Let's take maintain button. Okay. So from here you can give the address. So I'll just click here. This is Ethernet link one. Okay. I want to give the memory bit address, M bit address. So I will select here M. Suppose I want to take uh, 10.0. Okay. So I just entered M here and here 10.0. Enter. This is right address. Uh, I want the same read address. So I will just copy this and paste here. Yeah. So in text, we will do uh, this is off. And on. Okay. Just give the address here. We will just mention or oh, no need. Okay. So in zero. So whenever this will be a zero, uh, we will change for one. We will change the color to green. Okay. Okay. So we will take uh, one text here. Yeah. 
so what is address we have given em 10.0 i'm just mentioning address here so this button is for em 10.0 okay let's check one numeric entry numeric entry yeah so uh, let's give an address so for numeric entry i want to give mw address here so i will select mw and let's take uh, 20 here mw 20 okay so copy this and just paste here now suppose you want to assign a db address here okay so uh, just I will take one more uh, suppose numeric display okay here I will give the DB address suppose I have DB DB1 okay and address is suppose 0 so this is address is DB1 dot DBW0 okay I just copy no uh, okay this is read address no need to copy so i'll just click ok just save this backup okay this is numeric address this is db address this is mw 10 sorry 20 this is just to understand what we have given the address okay this is db1 address in db1 we have given uh, dw first address okay this is just text uh, for understanding purpose so let's check one uh, output status so just go to element date uh, indicator just take multi state indicator okay suppose give the address of output so i will take here q 0, 0.0 okay enter so for zero it will show red and for one let's see it will show green let's give the name here on this is off okay So these are the uh, this is HMI side. So let's go to PLC side. Yeah, in main OB, uh, sorry, in DB we have taken one address. So just give the name. Uh, suppose let's take tag one. This is integer address we have taken. Yeah. So to see the address of this, uh, we need to change the. Uh, this properties of uh, db so just go to properties in our attributes just remove this optimized block of this okay yeah. and one more uh, setting we need to do in hardware setting So we are communicating with third party the delta is a uh, third party device right so whenever we will communicate to third party device we have to change one setting in plc side uh, remember this thing
okay so in protection and security the uh, here full access uh, should be always uh, this option should be checked okay no protection full access right so one more let's check another settings Ethernet address we have taken 192.168.0.1. Okay. Okay, done. So now you can see in DB if I compile this block. The address is 0, 0.0, right? So in we will just write one logic here yeah on HMI we have taken one button and given the address is 110.m10.0 ok and we will fire one output here that is Q0.0 second thing We will just move. We have taken uh, MW20 on HMI. And we want to move it in DB address. Okay, here you can see the address is DB1, DB, W0. Alright, so in HMI we have taken DB1, DBW0 right this is db1 dbw0 okay and this is mw20 so we have taken mw20 here this is our mw20 so whatever we will enter in this it will move into this data block okay and whenever we will uh, on this bit this output will be on okay so let's download this program in hmi Let's write PLC program in PLC. Okay, load the program in PLC. Okay, now I will check on HMI. So, on HMI, there is error TCP error. So, let's check what's the mistake. So, I think we have missed one setting here. think uh, we should uh, turn on this enable web server for the IP address ok 
ओके लेट्स इन यू नो सेटिंग है Yeah, we have to permit access with Outgate communication from remote partner. Okay, we need to select this option. Okay, now just select save project, and again let's download this in PLC. Load. Okay, now the communication is established. Yeah, so now I will just trigger M ten point zero. Yeah, I will turn on the ten point zero. Now you can see here M ten point zero is on and Q zero point zero is so on. So on HMI, I am able to see the uh, Q zero point zero is on. Okay, so now in M W twenty, I am entering the value. Okay, you can see here. This is in uh, hexadecimal form. So this is ten, and you can see here. This is in integer form, ten. Right. This is in decimal form. This is in decimal form, and this is in hexadecimal. Okay. So that's why it is showing a. Now I am entering here hundred. Uh, hundred. You can see hundred here. Okay. If I enter here two thousand. Okay. You can see here two thousand. Okay. So in this way, we have successfully communicated uh, Delta HMI with Siemens PLC. Okay. So if you want, uh, if you have any doubt, so please. Uh, comment below and if you like this video please subscribe to our channel for for more interesting video and regarding all uh, programming knowledge please do subscribe to the channel thank you